Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to find the greatest value and the least value uh, inside an array of values. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, let's look at the algorithm here. What we want to do is we want to find the highest value in an array. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take an array and we're going to store that first value in the array in some variable. Let's call it high. Then for each remaining element in the array, call it A, we'll ask the question, well, if the element is greater than the value in the variable high, then we'll just set high to the element's value, right? We'll just keep repeatedly doing that, element by element by element by element, okay? And once we've gone through the entire array, once we've gone through every single element, what we're left with is this variable high containing the largest value in the array. Okay, so let me show you some code to make this happen. Okay, so let's first create an array, create an array of integers, okay, that we want to search for the highest value, right? I'll just make an array of integers and I'll initialize it using an initialization list, right? We'll just call it uh, A, okay, and we will implicitly size it. That means that we don't need a size declarator uh, inside the square brackets here. And we're going to use initialization list, which means we're going to have this curly brace list here. And let me just put some integers in here at random, right, in different orders. Uh, da -da -da, or different order. Um, random order. Uh, 3, 11. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, so this array is going to be, what, seven elements long, it looks like. So let's now create an array, or an element, excuse me, called high. And we're going to begin by assuming that the first value in the array is the largest, right? So let's initialize high to the first element of the array, right? So that's step uh, one, okay? Step one. Okay, and then step two, you know, for each remaining element in array A, we're gonna just check the value in that element and compare it against whatever's in high. And if the value in the element is greater than high, then we'll replace the value in high. So let's use a for loop to do that. Okay, why a for loop? Because we know exactly how many iterations we're gonna have, okay? So we're gonna initialize I to one, not zero. Why? Because we already assume that the zeroth element is the element that contains the largest value. We already assume that it's the highest. So there's no reason to check against itself. Okay. So then we'll say i less than seven because there's seven elements here, and then i plus plus. And then we're going to simply have an if statement here if a of i is greater than high, then we're going to overwrite what's in high with what's in the element, right? And then once this for loop's finished, high is gonna contain the greatest value in the array, okay? All right, so then let's display that at the very end, okay? So we'll have C out highest uh, value in the array, right, is gonna be high, okay? So let me do a pound include here so I can support my C out, okay? Oops, okay, so let's compile this thing and test it out. Okay. All right, so there we go. So compiled it, everything went great, ran it, highest value in the array is 22. <coughs> and reviewing the initialization list, that is true. Okay, so what if I wanted to know if, I guess you could say this was step two, step two through seven, I guess. What if I wanted to know what the lowest value was, right? 
So let's find the highest value here. What if I want to find the lowest value? Well, the array, or excuse me, the algorithm is going to be virtually the same. All we need to do, let's go ahead and copy and paste this here. All we need to do is flip the greater than sign to less than. That's all we got to do. So I'll just copy and paste that code. And I'll just update some things here, make a couple edits, right? Because now we're finding the lowest value. Let's call this variable low because we're looking for the lowest value. Okay. Change this to less than, right? Because step one, we're going to assume that the lowest value in the array is at a sub zero, right? And then we're just going to continuously check each element until we get to the end of the array to see if it's lower than whatever is in low, right? So if it is, any time that we come across an element that has a lower value than what's inside of this variable low, then we're going to replace it, okay? And so then when we're finished, what we're going to have is the lowest value in the array is going to be inside this variable low, okay? So let's uh, recompile this and let's run it again. Okay, and so the first section of code we found the highest is 22, and now in the second section of code we see that the lowest value in the array is three, and that is that is true, right? Now you might be wondering, well, what what if um, we've got two 22s or uh, two threes, right? Which what's going to happen? Well, nothing's going to change, right? The the highest value we're not taking into consideration whether or not there are duplicates. We just want to know what the smallest value is, right? Is it three or what is the biggest value, 22? Well, okay, there's two values in this array or two elements of this array that have the same value. 22 is still the largest value. Three is still the smallest value, okay? All right, so one last thing here. Let me put this in a function, right? We want to do modular programming as much as possible. So let's make a function to do this for us, okay? So let's say that I wanted to write a function that uh, accepts an array as an argument and returns the largest value inside that array. Okay, well, this is gonna be for an array of integers. So we'll say find, highest will be the name of our function. We're going to accept uh, an array as an argument and also the size of the array as an argument. So there's our prototype. Okay, now let's have a definition. Okay, definition. All right, so we have to name, we have to have a name for our array parameter. We'll just call it A. And we have to have a name for the size of the array, right, this parameter here. So we'll just call that uh, length. Okay, so now let's write the function body. Or int i equals zero or one, excuse me, i less than length, i plus plus. Okay, and let's not forget that we're going to need this high variable here, and we're going to, have to start somewhere. So we're going to start by assuming that the again the first element of the array is the biggest. Okay, if uh, a of i is greater than high, then i equals a of i okay and then once we're finished with that once that for loop's finished high is going to have the largest value in the array so let's return oops return high back to the calling function okay so let's test it see how highest value is all right find highest and what are our arguments going to be? A, the array we want to find the highest value in, and then the number of elements that are inside of that array. There's seven. Okay, so let's run it, compile it, and run it. Okay, and see, we see that the highest value is 22. Okay, so let's summarize. In this video, I shared with you an algorithm for finding the highest value in an array of values and the lowest value in an array of values. And I showed you code for doing both, and at the very end we finished up by uh, writing, uh, implementing the algorithm for finding highest 
inside of a function. Okay. Hope you found this video useful. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me or stop by my office hours. All right, we'll catch you next time.